Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we are playing some Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Philosopher's Magical Whatever Stone. And, uh, I'm not actually sure what we're going doing next, because Harry's, like, sneaking around while I'm saying this. He doesn't want anyone to know that we actually have no idea what we're doing. We just seem to be doing a normal school year. Like, what happened to Voldemort? What? Are we gonna try and stop him? I think someone has to. And it ain't gonna be Ron, because he's feckin' Harry! exhausted. Harry! What's up? It's Neville! You've got to come to the common room quickly. Who the hell are you? Is Ron exhausted? Are you my sidekick now? <laughs> and then he just walks away slowly. And why are you coming to me and not a teacher? What could I possibly help with? No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Yeah, sure. Are we talking about wizard cards now? What is so urgent? Fun. Why did you say it's so urgent when you don't seem to have any urgency whatsoever? Anything interesting happened last night? Why does he sound so pissed? Wait, who was this? What? What was that about? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Why does this world feel even more dead than usual? No one is interacting with me, no one is moving, and there's no music. It's just kind of eerie. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Okay, that's great, but uh, didn't you that's say so Neville good. needs our help? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. God, they really baby you in this school, if that's what you get well done Gryffindor for. <laughs> Just remembering two words that you need to use every day to get into your home. What happened? Leglockopus. Malfoy. What? How Malfoy? I met him outside the library. Then how'd you get in here? <laughs> He's obviously not very good at it if he got all the way back to the common room. And I didn't even do anything. Why did they call me? Oh, but it's really great being famous. Yeah, Neville, it's really nice. <laughs> this whole experience was strange. <laughs> what are we doing now? Oh, we're ending the day. Oh, yeah, I can see by the sunlight that it's bedtime. <sighs> These ceremonies at the end of every day take so feckin' long. It's honestly like two to three minutes each time and there's nothing going on. I think it was just the way the developers going, hey, we made our game 20 minutes minutes longer. <laughs> That's value for money right there. How come I wake up in the middle of the night? Harry has insomnia. Is there any way to cure it? And why is everyone else up? <laughs> no one sleeps in the school. But at the same time, everyone seems to be exhausted and sleeping in the middle of the day constantly. Moonju only comes out at night and it's found deeper into the forbidden forest than is safe for a first year to go. What? Me Snape is trying to get us all night. killed. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Yeah, probably because it's 3 a.m. Draconis. What? Are we going back? Okay, he's going back in. <laughs> I didn't do that. I literally just appeared outside and he walked back in. All right, can we go out again? Hey, you! What? Feck off. I'm going to see my the sugar daddy Hagrid. Let that be a lesson to you. I don't think that's going to teach me anything, actually. Neville got all the way up to the common room from the dungeons when it happened to him. I think you should be in the Gryffindor common room, Potter. Get going. Wait, what? I got caught and then they moved me to the exterior door where I have to go. <laughs> These prefects are useless. Uh oh. Okay, he somehow didn't see me. <laughs> yeah, they are completely useless. Like, could I not show them the letter and be like, look, the caretaker's invited me to hang out with his hut at 3 a.m. and then take me deep into the forest. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this situation. There's a unicorn in there being hurt badly by Summit. Found one dead last Wednesday. Yeah, I'm sure. Found. Look at that dramatic zoom up. Like, he's up to something. Where's Chris Hansen when you need him? Follow me. I would love to follow you, Hagrid, but, um, you appear to be stuck. <laughs> Harry's even there like, oh, it's getting kind of late, I should probably go home. Okay, good, he's moving, yay! Oh no, he's stuck again, okay. If I go anywhere near him, he just gets stuck. Oh, for feck's sake, look, we just spawned in and he's stuck again. <laughs> Why is Hagrid only bringing me? What about my friends and everyone else who needs this ingredient? I don't think Hagrid is helping at all, to be honest. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he has no fear, does he? Like, before we came in here, he literally said to me, Don't worry, nothing will come get you when I'm with you. <laughs> Which I guess will hold up in court since he's not with me. <laughs> he just abandoned me instead. Oh my god, what is that? It's probably just Hagrid's stomach. He's coming. <laughs> Although, that did really sound like his stomach. Okay, Hagrid, thanks for not accompanying me at all. <laughs> what the heck? I'd gotten back to Hagrid. I just saw him disappear and now I bump into this. <laughs> oh my god, look at the state of him. Is that Voldemort? Oh, it was just Hagrid, actually. It was Hagrid that was You're feeding right on there, the Hagrid. unicorn. But you have slain something so pure. Don't get angry at me about it. He seems pissed at me for some reason. That was Voldemort? 
I'm saying nothing. Like, how would Hagrid know this? Hagrid's talking out his ass. <laughs> it's just a coincidence that he happens to be right this time. I'm ending the night. I'm not even going to talk to Hagrid again. I'm pissed with him. We went out on a date and he just stood me up. He abandoned me there. You mean you know who's out there right now? In the forest. Uh, you, <laughs> shut up. We don't know that. That is literally just Hagrid gossiping. He might have tried to kill me last night. <laughs> They're talking That's about Hagrid speak. again. <laughs> I wouldn't go in if you haven't collected all of the ingredients Snape asked for. God, she seems like a demon. Everything in this game is so scary. Why does this game revolve around potions? What do I need now? Puffa pod spores and flubberworm mucus. These things aren't even real. Snape is just trying to get rid of me. He already tried to kill me by getting me into the forest. Him and Hagrid are in cahoots, I tell you. This must be a flubber worm. Now, how do I get the mucus? Time to milk this flubber worm for its mucus. If Harry can't get what he wants, he immediately starts abusing animals. What is happening? I don't understand. I got him on this thing and then it started spinning. I don't... What? <laughs> give me your mucus. Why is everything so protective of their mucus? Just give it to me. A cauldron cake. Damn, I was hoping it would be mucus. Okay, yeah, we did actually smash it. <laughs> God, I wish that were me. <laughs> Anything to escape from this hell. <laughs> A cauldron cake! I don't know why you're surprised. It's in every single brown chest. <laughs> oh no, the final boss. <laughs> it's so dramatic for just that little gnome. <laughs> Well, that situation is dealt with. <laughs> I literally threw him into a tree. He's gonna starve down there. Okay, another thing dead, all in the name of me getting this one potion ingredient. I swear, if this game didn't have the potion aspect or the 20 minute long cutscenes just showing the hourglasses, it would have no content at all. Okay, good, I think I have everything. Let's go back. I'm always just an inch away from death in this game. Thank God some stranger's been feeding me by leaving pumpkin pasties inside those chests. I swear, if Voldemort gets wind of this, he's just gonna put a little bit of cyanide inside one of them and I'm as good as dead. Oh good, Hermione stopped blocking the way now. She's allowed me to go to class. Oh, Harry, you look like a slight breeze would kill you, but come, come on in, that's fine, as long as you have your ingredients. They always show this awkward walkout at the end of class. I don't know what it's about. It's just the same thing every time. And all the same students, too. Hermione looks just as demonic every time. Sorry, Snape, I'm just gonna drink your potions. And no, that's not an innuendo. I'm actually genuinely dying. <laughs> Oh my god, what was that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to be healthy, huh? I don't like it. It doesn't feel risky enough. There's nothing on the line. I'll tell you what's disturbing. What? No, the potion thing, it wasn't an innuendo, honestly. Come on, Harry. Follow me. Ah, oh, the classic follow me and then just stands there move. <laughs> this game does that a lot. It's like they recorded all the voice lines and then realized they didn't know how to code something that could lead you to where you need to go. <laughs> Okay, Jesus Christ. I don't know what that was. It's gonna bounce off the concrete. I don't understand. I'm here. This is where Quidditch happens. Why is it not starting? Is it down at that door? You know it'd be really handy if I had someone to follow to the place I need to go to. Today, we're going to see Slytherin play Gryffindor in the last match of the year. Also the first match of the year, funnily enough. <laughs> On what might turn out to be the game of the year. Well, yes it is. Like, it's the only one. <laughs> Potter nudges ahead. Look out, Potter. Potter's so close! Fantastic flying by Potter! Potter's falling back! <laughs> the whole commentary is about me. <laughs> they just keep saying Potter over and over and over again. No. Can't nothing interfere with a broomstick except powerful dark magic. How come Hagrid is so knowledgeable about everything? <laughs> Feels like the developers were just sitting around the table and like, how do we advance the story here? Ah, I know. Hagrid. <laughs> Every time. Look out, Potter! Like, talk about someone else. You're making me self-conscious. Why are there so many adults here? Where are the students? <laughs> Incendio. Jesus Christ, she is a demon, isn't she? She looks like a little Chucky doll or something. <laughs> that little scream. <laughs> so good. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate nothing. He's got the snitch. Once again, Hagrid just knows all. <laughs> I don't know how he even heard her. <laughs> They're completely different stalls. <laughs> he heard her across the Quidditch pitch. Hurry! It was Snape. Hermione and I saw him. Thanks, Ron. We've got to go to Dumbledore. 
Come on, Harry, let's go. Oh, we're going to get tattled. We're going to tell Dumbledore what happened. For once, we're actually going to do the right thing. Uh, well, me and Ron. Hermione isn't confident enough. She's staying back there. She wants us to get in trouble for tattling on a teacher. Dumbledore's going to think we're lame for doing this. All right, you know what? I think I might end it there. I think we've done enough for one day. But I think we might stop the Dark Lord next time. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> this game is way longer than I thought it would be. But we got to finish it now. We're too close. But yeah, we got to end this episode here. I'm afraid the Dark Lord will live on for another week or so anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying these Harry Potter videos. But for now, we're going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate watching as always, folks. And I do hope to see you next time. Bye for now.